your girl Jay. Welcome back to the channel, Jay So Tastic. So what? I don't know, but um, today I am sharing <laughs> some things that I went to Joann's today, and I wanted to pick up some fabric because I had some tops that I wanted to make shorts to. So I'm going to pull out um, New Look 6859, and I planned on making these shorts right here. I don't know if y'all can see them. Um, okay, there they go, right there. I planned on making these shorts and um, also my inspiration were these two tops that I have colors of. One is a really like um, um, fluorescent. I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but orange. Okay, and I saw some, I have an inspiration, so I'm going to put a picture right here of what that inspiration is. And um, I just jumped right into the video and I didn't ask y'all, how y'all doing? Huh? How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay today. Um, a little rushed, but um, yeah, it's been a busy day today. And it's Tuesday that I'm recording this video. And I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I picked up at Joann's. Now, Joann's had a huge um, $2 sale on fabric, $2 per yard. So I grabbed some of that, and I think most of it is cotton. Um, I was sharing with you guys the top um, that I have. I have one in this orange and one in this blue, okay? So I'm going to share with you a picture of the inspiration. And here is the fabric that um, I picked up. And it's, I don't know if it's going to work right because it's kind of like a, um, I don't know, what is it? Let me see. I don't know if it's going to be a skirt or... What did I get a receipt, y'all? I had a, a yellow receipt here. Okay. Um, the orange is a craft cotton. Okay. And I wanted the shorts to be kind of like stiff. So, it's pretty close to the color. If you see it and I put it on, it, it's not... The camera not doing it the right justice. It is not this different. Okay. It's not. It's just not... I don't know why it's making it look like yellow gold, but it is not yellow gold. It is orange. It's not as close as I thought. So I don't know. I might not use this one. I might not do the orange one, but I got three and a half yards of this at $2 per yard. Okay. I might do something else with the orange. I have a, uh, hold on. Let me get this other fabric. I have this fabric. Um, I think I thrifted this um, a long time ago. I think I thrifted this for like maybe a two or three dollars. I think it was. It might have been a, a dollar. It might have been a dollar at St. Vinny's. Okay, so I have this fabric, and I don't know if I'm going to make shorts, a dress, or what. But it does have the orange in it, um, the orange and the gold that um, could go with that. Okay, so I might do that with that. And then, inspiration again with the blue, same with the blue. Um, this is as close as I could get to the blue. Um, that's pretty close. Make some shorts out of these. And I think I only got, let me see, what did I get of the blue? I got the dark royal blue, and I got two yards of that, and it was $6.99 a yard. If I could have found the craft, I would have, but I couldn't find it in that blue. So, yeah, this is the blue that I'm going to use. I'm going to make some shorts or a skirt, okay, um, to go with this blue top. And like I said, I'll put the inspiration up there. And then I saw this purple. It was just a print. I'm trying to get used to doing prints. Um, it was, the purple was, let me see here, cotton purple roses craft. It was $2 a yard. And I got three of those yards. So I have three yards of the purple, two and a half yards of the, oh, okay, wait a minute. I can't tell you that one yet. Uh, Craft Orange was two and a half yards at $2, which made it five. The um, dark blue was two yards at $6.99, which made it $9.98. Um, but this is the purple. Okay, and the purple was, I did say, didn't I, y'all? Um, $2 a yard, and I got three yards, so it was $6. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this yet. 
I'm not sure. I don't know, but I just got, it's like purple roses. And I was trying a pattern. Right now, it don't look like nothing. I don't know, but I might make this set again, this top with um, some shorts. With the shorts that's in, um, which is New Look uh, 6518. I made the top already, and uh, I might make the top with the New Look shorts, okay? So that might be what I do with that. And I think I should have enough for this. And it's kind of like a, um, it's not real thick. So I think it'll be very, it is cotton. So it should be um, cooling. It shouldn't be anything like super duper hot or anything. And then the last I found was some camo, um, ripstop camo at two and a half yards at six dollars a yard. So, um, yeah, I had two and a half, so that made it like 12. I don't know why it made it 15. It should have been $12, and she put, oh, it was a two and a half. Okay, so that's why. So I found some camos, kind of like a shiny camo. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet either. I don't know. I'm thinking about a dress, a long dress. I don't know what y'all think. I don't know if I'm going to use this for the off the car or what I'm going to use it for, but I really do like it. And a lot of the events that I go to with the Stephan community, um, they have a lot of camel wearing events. And so I'm thinking of something to make out of that for something like that if I go, especially in uh, November when I go to the Midwest Affair in Columbus. Um, so, and then, uh, from Amazon, I got some tape makers, some bias tape makers, um, 6, 12, 18, and 25, so I can make my own bias tape if I need to. I don't know if you guys know about these, but now you do. <laughs> Thank me later. <laughs> and then, what, um... Uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to do a demonstration and see and show y'all how it works, okay? Because I've never done it before and I do want to continue to make this channel not only just a sewing and upcycling channel, but a learning channel where you learn how to do different things on my channel. Um, you know, I want to be informative. I don't want to be just about the fashion of it or just creating things and um, not giving you information. So, um I want to give you tools, tools that you can work with yourself. Okay. So that's what I want to do with that. And then I also got a um, magnetic um, seam guide um, for sewing and your girl need help because sometimes she don't be going straight. She don't be going straight y'all and she needs some help so she can go straight. So in order for me to do that, I bought um, from Amazon some magnetic you know, and I'll show you how this goes on the machine, okay, when I do the binding video. So that'll be a learnable video that I will share with you guys. So at um, Joann's, I went to the fabric, not the fabric, but the pattern aisle, and I was looking for something in specific, but they didn't have anything for me, and nothing was really, really on sale. Um, so um, I skipped all of that. So at Joann's, with just those little small purchases, I had, I made, spent $38.11, so, you know, Joanne is not my friend, really, but um, I'm a Hobby Lobby girl, because <laughs> I seem to find all the deals there, or I'm a Goodwill girl, or thrift store, St. Benny's, you know, stuff like that, finding fabric for a dollar, and stuff like that, I have so much fabric that I have found for a dollar, so, and, um, Hobby Lobby be having nice remnants and stuff like that, and so does Joanne, but they prices, they a little steep, you know, I think they're trying to pay for the bankruptcy out of our pockets, but anyway, with that said, I did want to review um, the top, and I'll put a picture or a video up here of the top that I had made, um, to give you guys a little bit about what I think about it, um, the, it was very easy. Okay, um, it doesn't say that it's an easy sew, but it was an easy sew. It was quick. It's something that you could probably make in about like an hour, maybe less. You know, your fast girlies that sew real fast or whatever, maybe less, you know, whatever have you. Um, 
I skipped some steps and I made some things my way. So I did do some hacking on the top. But like I said, I think I might take um, the purple rose fabric, this fabric right here, and try again. Because I don't think it'll be too much to have this in a top and shorts. Hopefully I got enough fabric for it. I think so. Let me see. Did I get enough fabric for that? The purple rose one. Why I keep losing that receipt, y'all? Why? Why? Here it is. In the bag. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. Purple rose. Uh, yeah, I got three. Three yards of it. So I should be okay. Um, The top shouldn't be about... The top is like probably one and seven eighths. Let me see. Um, yeah, even in a size 18, one and five eighths. Um, if I'm doing B, it's a one and a half yards, and the shorts are, let's see, extra large, and I only need, let's see, where is it? A, B, B, and no, D, one and a half yards. So, Three yards. I'm going to be cutting it close. <laughs> I may use something else to, you know, I don't know. I'll be cutting it close. So I got to make sure that I cut it right. And that's very important that I make sure everything is lined up. All my notches and dots and P T's and P's and I's and E's are all matched up and um, go for it. So um, those are some sewing projects that I have in the work. I'm probably going to batch cut because I do have um, a skirt already in there and I do have some shorts in there. Um, I, I was doing a video where I was gonna share with you guys. I bought um, six yards. Hold on, let me get it. I, I don't know if I shared it with you guys. But I bought six yards of this plaid fabric. Okay, and um, I planned on making some shorts and a tank top and maybe a robe top to just just to wear around the house. And this was two dollars a yard at Hobby Lobby. So um six yards, six times two is twelve, so twelve dollars for that whole bolt of fabric. And I've already cut out the shorts um that I want to make. Um I have put yes, supervisor. What is it? Is something wrong? You just barked in the middle of my video. I did buy Winston some hemp chews for anxiety. Uh, anxiety. Uh, Woo, he is extra, extra hyper. And I need him to calm down. I think I'm going to have to have him neutered to do that. I did plan on going into that with this, but yeah. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with y'all today. I wanted to, you know, do a sit down. I haven't done that with you and review some things and share some things that I had gotten from Joanne, Amazon, and uh, fabrics and stuff. Now he wants to be loved and hugged. Say hi to the people. Say hi, Winston. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Winston, say hi. Gonna say hi, hi. He's so spoiled, y'all. He's so spoiled. <laughs> he is rotten. Oh my gosh, he is rotten. He still thinks he's a puppy, and he in, he's in adolescence right now, which means bad. The, the terrible twos. Even though he ain't two, he only seven and a half months, and um, yeah, but he is in the terrible stage. Um, whew, off the chain. But anyway. I'm going to let you guys go, but I want to thank you guys for chiming in on the last two videos. I appreciate you. I got new subscribers from that, and I appreciate that. The channel is growing, so let's keep growing. And, um, yeah, so I didn't want to, yeah, but y'all know, y'all know how these things go. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Thank you for, you know, liking, commenting. I appreciate y'all. Leave my stand alone. See what I mean? See, 